Asante sana. Uh, kanisa kanisa takatifu katoliki kiongozi wangu mheshimiwa baba Raila Molo Odinga Kerma Adolwo ya Duong Odungi Randa na waombolezaji wote ambao wamefika hapa kumsindikiza huyu shujaa tumsifu Yesu Kristu Daima na milele vile mnavyojua na vile ambavyo mheshimiwa Edi amewaambia kwa majina naitwa Edwin Sifuna katibu mkuu wa chama cha ODM seneta wa kaunti ya Nairobi na naibu kiranja ya walio wachache ndani ya bunge la senate katika taifa la Kenya Mheshimiwa baba Raila Molo Odinga nimetembea na wenzangu kutoka kwa National Secretariat the National Secretariat of ODM nataka tu wasimame mjue wako hapa wakiongozwa na executive director wetu Mheshimiwa Oduoro Ngwen yuko hapa Finance and Administration Director mtoto wenu wa hapa Migori Mheshimiwa <laughs> Kawino alafu au oh, unatoka homo bay kwa wanga uliniambia ni wao sawa tuko hapa na Tony ambaye anatusaidia kwa mambo ya kisheria na bunge alafu papa Philip Tale ambaye anatusaidia na mawasiliano Mheshimiwa Raila Odinga you know oh nimesahau Ben Musungu yuko pale nyuma pia kiongozi wa vijana E, nimekuona ndugu yangu wewe anatusaidia wakati wa registration kwa membership. Thank you so much. Your Excellency, you know it has been the honor of my life to serve as your SG and as the SG of this great party of ODM. In February of this year, I will be beginning my seventh year as the SG of this party. Your Excellency, in this time, I have had the honor and privilege of knowing the networks that you have built in this party across the country and because i have a global view of the party i can say here without fear of contradiction that makabongo was the best county chair in odm without blinking huyu jamaa baba tumejuana na mheshimiwa makabongo wakati niko mwezi kama mbili ama tatu kama katibu mkuu wa chama kulitokea hapa by election wakati mheshimiwa ben luocha ametuacha na ukanituma hapa tufanye campaign when you hear edi speaking he is speaking from experience he knows it is impossible for you to introduce anything other than odm in nyanza he knows but he is now my friend and he is a most staunch supporter of odm hata kunishinda kwa sababu ya experience baba nilifika hapa nikakutana na huyu mzee makabongo wakati natoka nairobi wananiambia huko sifuna obado atawapiga atawapiga sawa sawa nikafika kwa huyu mzee akaniambia akitupiga tutampiga hata ye sifuna usiogope kitu hapa wakati ule ojilo yako ndio candidate wetu pindra huyu tulikuwa tunatembea na yeye tunazunguka huko kwa vijiji wanasema hakuna mtu atakuguza sifuna kama kuna mtu alikuwa na heshimu chama na viongozi wa chama ni huyu mzee makabongo i used to arrive in migori ukishuka gari yako namna hii unakuta chairman wa county ametembea na women leader ako na youth leader wake viongozi wa constituency ambaye mko pale anawaintroduce anasema hawa ndio viongozi wa hii constituency he had a lot of respect for this party and this man suffered because of his stand baba wakati moja unajua mali ya makabongo imeharibiwa sana gari lake hata wakati moja likateketezwa kijana yake moja aliingiliwa hapa na majambazi wakampiga vibaya sana lakini hakuna siku makabongo ati alisimama akasema huo oh, ati anaondoka chamani mimi nasikia uzuni sana kwa sababu makabongo amekufa kama hajaona ile safari ikitimia ambaye tulikuwa na yeye katika hii chama langu ni kusema tu Mungu aweze kumrehemu amweke mahali pema peponi kwa sababu makabongo was a strong man this is one of the only chairs in the country your excellency i used to wake up in the morning watu wa media hawa wananipigia simu sifuna is it true that in migori this is the party position nauliza ala mnetoa wapi hiyo wanasema makabongo ame address sisi saa hii nasema kama ni yeye amesema that is the position and baba utakumbuka hata wakati moja ukaniuliza kulikuwa kunatakiwa mtu aende south africa ku observe uchaguzi ya south africa tukasema kwa hawa chairman tunaweza tuma nani ambaye anaweza kuwakilisha odm mtu wa south africa akikutana na mtu ajue huyu ni odm We ungetuma nani Hey, yeye ndio tulituma Afrika Kusini kuwakilisha chama ya ODM. Baba, huyu jamaa tumetembea na yeye hapa tumefanyia hiki chama kazi. 
and I am very proud that today we are burying him in ODM colors. Kitu ambacho kinaniuzunisha nilipata ripoti usiku ya kwamba hata wale ambao walikuwa namsumbua Makabongo akiwa hai wanajaribu kumfuata kumsumbua hata wakati Makabongo amefariki. Baba wewe fikiria mazishi ya mtu wa heshima kama haya. Usiku watu wanatumwa hapa atina polisi wakuje watoe ili hema ambalo tumeweka hapa kwa ajili ya kumheshimu na kumwenzi kiongozi wetu huyo. I want to say this as I've said in Kisi. We condemn in the strongest words possible. Those people who are drunk with power now, they think the police will be with them forever. Wanatumia polisi kuhujumu wengine katika taifa hili. Kule Kisi mtu amesimama kama huyu governor anagawa watoto form za basari. Wewe unakuja na polisi umetoa wengine mpaka Nairobi, unaanza kupiga risasi kwa wananchi. Tunavozungumza sasa kuna watu ndani ya kisi hospitali wako na majeraha ya risasi. Vile ndugu yangu Edi amesema hapa wewe sio the first PS of internal security tumeona hii Kenya bwana Raymond Omolo. Mimi nitakutaja. You are not a, you are not even a tenth of the most he's not in the top five of the most powerful interior CSS. Sisi tulikuwa tunakuwa bwana tunasikia watu wanaitwa sijui Ezekaya Oyugi. Hata we mwenye ukitaja baba yako anaingia kwa miwa. We ukisema hiyo jina. Sasa huyu jamaa anafikiria atatisha nani? Tuko na anaitwa county commissioner hapa. Nataka ni mtaje ndio ajue tumemjua. Eh? Yeah. Anaitwa nani? Yeah. Nilikuwa nimeandika jina yake hapa. Yeah. Gitonga. Yeah. Huyu Gitonga baba wakati wa maandamano wameumiza watu wetu hapa sana. Na yeye ndiye anatumika pamoja na mjumbe wa hapa. Mjumbe wa hapa wa ODM. Kuja kutusumbua na kuvuruga watu. Mimi ile kitu nataka kuambia rafiki yangu Paula Bor kwa sababu ni rafiki yangu. Mheshimiwa ukifanya uamuzi kwamba umechoka na sisi tuache kwa amani tafadhali. Sisi hatuna ubaya na mtu yote. Hatuna ubaya na mtu yote lakini kuleta polisi kukuja kuvuruga mazishi kama haya ni kitu ambacho sisi hatutakubali. Baba wacha nizungumze mambo mawili kisha niketi. Unajua katika taifa hili letu wakati pahali tumefika ni lazima tuambiane ukweli. Mimi ni wakili ulinituma pale kisi tukatoa statement kuhusu utumizi mbaya wa polisi wanamhara huyu Simba Arati na tumesema Simba Arati sio governor tu he is the national vice chair person of ODM. So as a party we have a stake in his life. And we have said if anything happens to Simba Arati the people responsible we will name them number 1 honorable Osoro the member of parliament for south mugirango we will hold you personally liable for anything happening to our vice chair person huyu mwingine anaitwa IG of police yeye siku hizi ni kiziwi yeye siku hizi asiki haoni wewe fikiria tumeandaa birthday ya baba tu tumeweka keki kwa barabara watoto wamekuja kina mama wamekuja wanaimba tu kitu ya furaha we ushaisikia mtu anapiga keki tia gas. Eh? Hii unga tu unachanganya na mayai na sukari inakasirisha ruto kwa sababu watu wamefurahi ya baba amefika miaka tisa Huyu mtu ameingia baridi this is the most insecure government baba because they know they don't have legitimacy. Leo hii ukisoma magazeti alijipatia 4 billion shillings ati anafanya renovation state house. Hakuna renovations anafanya. Huu jamaa amesikia iko siku not in the too distant future wa Kenya wataingia kwa hiyo nyumba. Sasa ile kitu anafanya baba nimeambiwa anachimba handaki. Unajua handaki? Kwa kizungu wanaita banka. Ati ndio siku ile wa Kenya watafika kwa gate yeye yeah, atajificha huko ndani. Hiyo ndio pesa anatumia kufanya at renovation state house. Wewe ushaiona state house ikikuwa na mahali na shida ya, ku, ya kuitaji repairs. Eh? Na anatuambia anajenga affordable housing. Affordable housing ni kujijengea handaki ndani ya nyumba yako. Eh? Hiyo nyumba haikutoshi. Marais wangapi wameishi hapo ndani? Leo hii wewe unataka kuongeza gorofa ifike wapi? Ukilala usiku kuna mahali inavuja, ndio natuambia utumie 4 billion. Wewe wacha kutuhadaa bwana. Wacha kutuhadaa. Kwa hivyo sisi tumesema tutasimama imara na wakenya na baba wewe ujue kwamba hapa Migori uko na watu ambao wanamsimamu. Usidanganywe na hii kelele kidogo kidogo unasikia hapa. I want to say thank you to my brother Eddie for what you did last night. These people cannot scare us. Ukiogopa hawa watu ndio watakukanyagia chini. Vile ulinipigia simu usiku wa manane wewe na Pindra hapa mkakuja mkasema liwe liwalo tutamzindikisha huyu ndugu yetu kwa heshima. Si imefanyika.
imefanyika ama haijafanyika kwa hivyo